Over the years, British soldiers have served in some of the most dangerous places in the world. The impact on mental health can be huge, and for those who return home, the transition to civilian life can be difficult. Paul Smith joined the Navy when he was 16 and served in the Falklands War. When he returned, he became dependent on alcohol, was abusive at home and regularly had breakdowns. It was 34 years later that he was diagnosed with severe post-traumatic stress disorder. It was the charity Combat Stress who focus on veterans' mental health that ensured Paul got the help that he needed. Without going to Combat Stress, I'd have probably ended up in a ditch from drinking. Um, and without their help, I, I wouldn't have my family, um, I wouldn't have my daughters, my wife. And basically combat stress gave me the tools to deal with post-traumatic stress disorder. You, you never get through post-traumatic stress disorder. But they gave me my life back. Um, I've stopped drinking. I, I haven't had a drink for four years. Um, I'm not abusive. Combat Stress has been receiving around 2,000 referrals for treatment a year, but his income has fallen from £16 million this financial year down to £10 million, partly due to the charity losing funding from the NHS. This means Combat Stress won't be able to take any new cases in England and Wales. On the basis of, of the income we currently are facing for next year, we will be able to, let, to help only half of the people that we've been helping, and the demand for service is growing. NHS England had previously given combat stress three million pounds a year, but after consulting with veterans and their families, it was decided the money would be used on different new services for veterans instead. Johnny Mercer, a defence minister and a veteran himself, said on Twitter, this is a complex problem without easy solutions. More money than ever before is being spent on veterans' mental health, but combat stress is an important partner and we will find a way forward together. 90% of the charity's income is now dependent on public donations and the veterans who use their services will be hoping that combat stress can keep going. Shihab Khan, ITV News.